With one leg held at 90 degrees and the supporting leg in demi-plie, a series of small hops are done on the whole foot while turning. This step may be performed en dehors or en dedans in any desired position. Here we see en dehors in second. En dedans in arabesque. Adage consists of slow sustained movements executed following center practice. These movements are designed to develop strength, balance, sense of line, smooth expressive movements of the arms and head, and musicality. Promenade, tour lent. A promenade is a turn pivoting on the ball of the supporting foot with the other leg in any desired position, here seen en dedans in arabesque. En dedans in attitude devant. Though not seen here, it is also performed en dehors. Fouetté, fouetté effacé, fouetté au vadage, grand fouetté. Starting with one leg front at 90 degrees, the supporting heel pivots en dedans, passing through second to arabesque. The movement may also be reversed, starting with a leg back at 90 degrees, pivoting en dehors, passing through second to the front. When executed in this direction, it may also be termed rotation. Renversé.
en dehors. Starting attitude or arabesque, quasi derriere, a demi plie is performed tilting the upper body slightly forward. On the releve, the body arches slightly back. The bend is increased, leaving the head front while the legs do pas de bourrée en dehors, the movement finishing erect. En dedans, starting with a leg extended or attitude quasi devant, a demi plie is performed tilting the upper body forward. On the releve, the upper body arches back. This bend is increased, leaving the head front as the legs do pas de bourrée en dedans, finishing erect. Here a coupé into a grand rond de jambe en dehors on relevé is used as a preparation, finishing the renversé movement as before. On écarté, to begin the leg extends écarté derrière and cuts coup de pied devant. The body bends forward and toward the working leg. A single turn with a back bend is performed on relevé en dedans, finishing écarté derrière. The allegro consists of quick and lively jumps, building from small, simple steps to large, more complex jumps. Petit allegro refers to small jumps and connecting steps performed at a rapid tempo, sometimes terre a terre or close to the ground. Grand allegro is done at more moderate tempo and aims at the greatest possible elevation and suspension in the air. In all allegro, the dancer aims for the quality of ballon or a smooth, continuous rising and falling motion of the feet.